गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल ऑफ यू माई सेल्फ ए एस आई असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर मैकेनिकल डिपार्टमेंट एस आई डी सी आई एम प्रेजेंटिंग पी एच सी फंक्शन टाइम बाई एनकाउंटर विद यूजिंग आर एस लॉजी फाइव हंड्रेड पार्ट सेकेंड सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी डिस्कस द टाइमर फंक्शन सो टाइमर इज अ डिवाइस दैट कैन सेट टू हैव द इवेंट्स डिटरमाइन टाइम्स सो पी एल सी टाइमर्स आर प्रोवाइड अप्रिशिएट डिले टू कंट्रोल द एक्शंस otherwise we can say that the plc timers are instructed that mechanical and electronic timing relays which can functionize for on delay and off delay so the timer has having two types so first one is a non written to timer and second is written to timer so in non written to timer it will starts timing the delay from each time as well as the timer value is reset when the power is off so this is regarding the rate non written to timer so there are two types one is the turn and second is stop turn means timer on delay timer off delay stop so then second type is written to timer so in that case timer value is not reset when power is off so there is the requirement for second input for resetting the timer so this is the regarding the timer so in, in next slide we will discuss the block type timer so in that content the, this is the thing about syntax so while syntaxing the timer so t is file type 4 is file number of the timer and 1 is the actual type timer number so if it is first timer so we can write t4 is to 1 if it is second timer we can write as a t4 is to 2 so this is regarding the timer now nextly we can move for the timer on delay so in timer on delay we will specify for the use to turn on and off after predetermined times hence we can output starts after delaying time so this is the basic idea for timer on delay so the syntax is like that two vertical lines is called as power rails and this is the first input and this is the block of turn which is on right hand side so this is en bit which is connected to the this power rail and turn bit is shortly connected it is not connected to the power rail so here there are two registers will be available one is accumulator and second is the preset so in accumulator the time lapsed in a accumulator which is giving up to the intervals and the preset means it is connected to the programmer so programmer giving the set value suppose it is given 50 seconds so i can write here preset 50 seconds and time basis is nothing but it lapsing a 1 second so after 50 seconds it is collected in accumulator then and only output will be energized because of this done bit so in case of timer on delay whenever the input one is true then the processor or can say timer will be energized because of this enable bit and it the counting as a accumulator so in case of that increment in the accumulator so whenever the done bit will be activated after 50 seconds and then and then only output will be on so this is regarding the timer on delay now will next slides we will go for status of the timer on delay so here we'll mention that the first input is there so when first input is true the timer turn delay timer turn delay is enable or can say energized and after 50 seconds so when accumulator value becomes 50 seconds then and then only done bit activate and output second will be activated so in case of tt bit while input is true then and then only output will be true so this is the difference between tt and done bit in case of turn timer so when this will be false both will be false that output 1 and output 2 will be false so this is regarding the timer on delay so we can summarize like this when input one is on this timer will be on and increment in the accumulator value so when accumulator value is 
then and only output will be on so after 50 seconds output 2 will be on but in because of tt bit it should be activated as it is means what the input is true this output will be true so this is the regarding the timer on delay now we move for second that is timer off delay so here input is false then and then only the processor starts that means accumulator will be starts the counting and when it is reaches to the 200 then this activity stops so it is delay for the turning off this is the specialty of timer of delay so here also there are two registers it is temporary register that is accumulator and preset so accumulator is used for lapsing of the time to reaches the preset value and preset is nothing but preset is nothing but the seted by a seted by the programmer or can set the target value so this is regarding the timer of delay so we'll discuss this point here so suppose we are considering there are three inputs one is motor second is lamp and third is the external fan so whenever the input one is on these three output will be energized or can say input is on but when input one is off so that time this first output and second output immediately off but third output is off after the 200 seconds so whenever the accumulator value reaches 200 then and only the external fan or can say output number three is off so this is the regarding the timer of delay now we will move to the next timer that is written to the timer so it is just similar to timer turn so whenever the input one is on the lapsing of time in accumulator whenever it is reaches to 30600 the output will be on so whenever this accumulator value and pc value is same then output 3 will be on so whenever this lapsing takes place when input 1 is off then it does not reset the value in a return to timer so therefore we are providing second output so second input for resetting the timer so this is the regarding the return to type timer next we move for the problems so first problem statement is like this draw a ladder diagram for two lamps that is red and yellow so when there are three conditions given to the given to you first condition is when start button is pressed the red lamp is on and second condition is after 10 seconds when red lamp is on yellow lamp is on and stop button is pressed third condition when start stop button is pressed both lamps should be off so here whenever the using a timer functions the turn and top we consider here so first of all we consider when start button is pressed the red lamp is on and after delaying 10 seconds yellow lamp will be on so this condition fulfilled by a turn timer so turn timer is having some speciality for that so whenever the input is energized the processor or timer turn is on and processing for processing for increment in the accumulator value and whenever accumulator value and pc value is same then second output is on and if the in second or can say if it is false then output off immediately so for that purpose here the conditions fulfilled by turn timer so i can use turn timer here so whenever first timer is first input is on so here the start is start button is there so i can name it as a i double dot zero slash one stop button is there so i can write i double dot zero slash two and in case of output so red lamp and yellow lamp is there are two in output so i can name it as a o double dot zero slash one and o double dot zero slash two so whenever input one so input one is start button so this is momentary button so that's why i can provide a latch so input one is on so therefore output one is on and because of momentary switch so 
this this path will be in a rise because we are taking the reference as it is over here so that's why the current is flow from this side now when this output is energized this timer tone is energized so whenever completion of 10 seconds in a accumulator so then this done bit activates and output will be on so when input 2 is pressed so this two output will be immediately off so this is the condition for turn so now we move for software so you have to install first rs logic 400 and just open it so when you go to new file and it is named as micrologic series b you can name as a work okay then next it is you can add runs so here three runs is required so i can add the three runs so we press it here first and then three runs we can add here so in first run we can add latch then wait so there are latch is there and then there is normally close contact this is normally open then output is there now we can press the second term so first of all output in input is there then you can add a timer so here timer bit is there ton timer is there so we can shift it to timer or counter so ton we can use here in third run we can add again latch and then we can write as a the two normally contacts and here we can add the output now again addressing the this one double dot zero slash one this is start button right and then next i can add here i double dot zero slash two this is for stop button okay then first output that is o double dot zero slash one so this is the red lamp so i can write red lamp here okay then next i can add here i double dot zero sorry so this is the first paste here so i can copy and paste because this is latches provided for continuous supply of current so you can paste here copy and paste. then next i can again can copy and paste so this is first timer i can write t4s21 timer 1 so one second lapsing is there and this reset time is 10 so I can add here 10 then I can put value 0 then I can add here the t4 is to 1 slash done so this is the button for timer first then next this is the first second output whatever the true that is yellow lamp set okay and then you can copy because we are providing latch so in latching circuit whenever the current is current is provided to the blue lamp so this is the added array you can verify it and file save so i can write desktop goes to desktop I can add here ton first this timer save it then minimize it then next we can move the 
next program so next program is draw a ladder ram this is second program draw ladder ram for two lamps red and yellow having the following conditions when start button is pressed both lamp red and yellow on and when stop button is pressed red lamp will be immediately off but yellow lamp will be after 10 seconds so here we can use stop timer because stop timer is having some conditions when when you're switching it all output is on when you are pressing off button then the the timer is energized and done bit activates after the that lapsing time and then output second will be off so here the immediately off one lamp that is code over the lossless one and after 10 seconds delay output two that is we can say zero lamp will be off so this is the example so here i double the lossless one this is momentary switch so that's why i can attach momentary switch that's why i can attach your latch and first output is there this is the red lamp so when input one is on this red lamp is on as well as second output is also on but when you press the off button that is r double resolution 2 is pressed that time this timer is energized and after 10 seconds this output will be off so this is the problem statement so i can solve by law by software also new one then we go for series a or series b according to your machine so i can select series b next file open okay then we move for adding the runs so i require three runs right so first second and third then i require the latch so latch is added then normally close contact and output is there so i can add the normally open contact then next again we can add normal open contact then next we move for normally contact open then move for timer turn so the top timer is used for here so that's why you can add top timer then we move for user for latching <laughs> then output symbol is there now i can addressing them i double dot zero slash one so this is the this is the start button so this is the second button so that's what i double dot zero slash two so stop button this is the first output o double dot zero slash one so output one is there or you can say the red lamp again this copy it so start button is momentary switch so that's why i can add here Again, I can write four over dot six slash one, and this is the timer for that T four S two one. The next preset value is ten seconds. Sorry, two hundred sec ten seconds. So I can add ten seconds. The next we can add timer delay. That's fine. T four S two one. So here I can add t 4 s to one slash done. So timer one is there. And here you can attach o double dot zero slash one. Sorry, second output is there. So I can add second output that is yellow lamp. And here 
the moment is which is there so that's why i can add the latch that is o double dot zero slash two so here how it works when start button is placed here this red lamp and yellow lamp simultaneously on when you are pressing this stop button so that time this processor or timer energize and then after 10 seconds the yellow lamp will be off this is the circuitry for timer off so you can verify it and then you can save it file save so this is off so you can name it top save then i can take snap of this and then i can add over here so snapshot is there the next example third the develop the ladder logic that will turn on output light 50 seconds after switch a has turned on so whenever you're pressing the switch a so after 50 seconds the output will be generated so this is fulfilled by the timer on delay because when your starts button pressed it enables and after 50 seconds the output will be on so therefore i attach input one on left hand side and right hand side i can set a timer turn so this done bit activates the first output so this is the ladder for third problem so i will construct here with the help of software add here then according to your machine you can select series b or series a then you can select this run so you require one two runs right so first will be we can add the first input and then we can add the, the timer so this is turn timer so i can move for timer or counter turn timer is there then i can mention the first input so that's why i add double dot zero slash one so this is switch a okay then first timer is there so t4 is to one so this is timer first so one second so lapsing is for 15 seconds so one five seconds accumulator is zero the next we can add one more input and output so here so t4 is to one slash timer next. so here we can add o double dot second slash one so this is first output so this is the light so after that we can verify it and file save so again give the name this is the third problem so example third save it then next we move for counter so in counter function the block that counts up or down until it reaches a limit so plc counter are similar to timer except that timers are operate on internal clocks and counters are operate on external clocks of events so most of the plc content programmed counters can count up and count down so programming format of counters are similar to timer format the up counter counts so in there are two types of type counter so up counter and down counter the up counter counts from 0 to reset count whenever it takes some actions the down the down counter counts down from reset count to 0 where it takes some sections so some basic symbol or can say syntax is there for timer or oh sorry counter so c5 is to 1 c e stands for counter 5 stands for file number of the counter and 1 e stands for first timer so if it is sub first counter 
so if it is second counter is there so you can write c5 is to 2 is it then next we move for up counter so here the first input is added over here and counter is on right hand side so input is on left hand side and counter is on right hand side so when input is energized at that time the preset value is 50 so accumulator value is going on increment so whenever it reaches 50 after that it goes on and output will be on so this is regarding the up count so it requires second switch for reset the values so it is just similar to retain to type timers because it is always remember that whenever the reset is required so that time retain to type is there then next here main word word main thing is there the accumulator value is less and preset value is more but in case of down counter the preset value is less and accumulator value is 100 suppose our target is 50 count so 50 count is there then the accumulator values goes on decreasing and whenever the preset value and accumulator value is same this turn bit activates and output will be on the second input is for resetting this down count so here the difference between up count and down count next we can see the program so here a motor will be controlled by two switches so the go switch will start the motor so go switch is the first switch and stop switch will be second switch so i can write i double the solution as one i double the solution as two that is stop switch if the stop switch is used to stop the motor and the go switch must be thrown twice to start the motor so whenever the go switch is placed twice then and then only counter will be starts and when you count the two is there then this output will be on so here mentioning that the active light and should be turned on and motor is turned on so when one button that is i double slash one press twice so it reaches preset and accumulator is same then done will activates motor and light will be on so this is the program for counter so again we enter into the rs logis 500 so we can select yes so according to your machine we can select the micrology series b or series a so i can select series b so then we can add the number of runs so here there are two runs is there so i can write add two runs sorry then next we can add here normally open then normally closed and counter is there so you can add counter then nextly that is because of this input the two output is there so that's why i can add latch type so here the output is there so here i can write i double dot zero slash one so this is the co switch press ok then second input is there that's why i can write i double dot zero slash two so this is stop switch so here start and stop and then up counter is there so this is the first counter right and preset value is 2 so i can add here only c 5s to 1 sorry c 5s to 1 so this is first counter okay then next c 5s to 1 slash done this is counter first because of this counter first output that is what is that output motor is there right 
so you can write motor it is post out then next and then here so you can output is there so i can write o double dot zero slash two so this is for lamp now i can verify it then save it and then take snap of that we can write here the counter first save it so this is regarding the counter and timer so i can paste take the snaps and paste it over here so this is the manually program and this one is the software thank you